glory to you, O giver of life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill among the people. We praise you, we bless you, we worship you, we glorify you, we give thanks to you for your great glory. O Lord, heavenly King, God the Father Almighty, only begotten Son, Lord Jesus Christ, and Holy Spirit, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You who take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You who sit at the Father's right, and have mercy on us, for only you are the Holy One, only you are the Lord Jesus Christ. To the glory of God the Father, amen. Every day will I bless you, I will praise your name forever. To the ages of ages, count us worthy, Lord, of passing this day without sin. Blessed are you, O Lord, God of our fathers. Your name is praised and glorified forever. Amen. Let your mercy descend upon us, O Lord, for we place our hope in you. Blessed are you, O Lord, blessed are you. Teach me your commandments. Blessed are you, O Lord, blessed are you. Teach me your commandments. Blessed are you, O Lord, blessed are you. Teach me your commandments. You have been our refuge, Lord, from one generation to the next. I cried out, Lord, have mercy on me. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. I run to you, O Lord. Teach me to please you, for you are my God. For in you is the fountain of life, and in your life, we see light, pour forth your mercy on those who know you, O Holy God, O Holy Mighty, O Holy Immortal, have mercy on us, O Holy God, O Holy Mighty. O the immortal, have mercy on us. O holy God, O holy mighty. O the immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. O the immortal, have mercy on us. O God, O So it is our God always, now and forever, into the age of ages. Amen. May the Lord guide your steps to every good work. May the Lord of God remember you both in his kingdom now and ever, into the age of ages. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill among all. has come to all the world. Let us sing to him who rose from the grave. The very 
source of our life. By his own death, he destroyed death, bestowing on us victory and his great mercy. Have long ye shown the espotage, Ευρωήμενη βασιλεία του Πατρός και του Ιού και του Αγίου Πνεύματος νυν και αή και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Αμήν. Εν του Κυρίου δε ηθόμεν Κύριε Λαϊσό Πέρ της άνωθεν ειρήνης και της σωτηρίας των ψυχών ημών του Κυρίου δε ηθόμεν. Κύριε Λαϊσόν Υπέρ της ειρήνης του σύμπαντος κόσμου ευσταθίας των Αγίων του Θεού Εκκλησιών και της των πάντων ενώσεως του Κυρίου δε ηθόμεν. Κύριε Λαϊσόν For this holy house and for those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our Archbishop Alexius, the honorable priesthood, the deacons in the service of Christ, and of all the clergy and the lady, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our country, for the president, and all those in public service, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the holy and great Church Lord of Christ, God, for this holy metropolis, for this parish and city, for every for city and, and town, Look upon and for us the and faithful who live in them, let us pray Grant to, to us the and Lord. To those who pray with us your abundant mercy. Lord, have mercy. For favorable weather and abundance of the fruits of the earth and temperate seasons, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For travelers by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, <coughs> danger, and distress, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship, to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Shout to God all the earth. Tes pres dies tis theotokos, tes osonima. Sing now to his name. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, Savior, save us. Describe all his wonderful works. Tes pres dies tis theotokos, tes osonima. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord our God, save your people and bless your inheritance, protect the whole body of the church. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Come, and our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady of the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary. 
With all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. For yours the dominion, the kingdom, and the power and glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Let the heavens be glad and let the earth greatly rejoice. So sonny masia teo, osaki peripnitis, salon dasi alleluia. Oh, sing a new song to the Lord, sing to the Lord all the earth. Seva so son of God, who are circumcised in the flesh. Save us who sing to you, alleluia. From Zion in beauty splendor. Save us, O Son of God, who are circumcised in the flesh. Save us who sing to you, alleluia. Doxa patriceo, only begotten Son and Word of God, although immortal, you humbled yourself for our salvation, taking flesh from the Holy Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, and without change, becoming man. Christ our God. You were crucified, but conquered death by death. You are one of the Holy Trinity, glorified with the Father and the Holy Spirit. Save us. <laughs> again and again in peace, Lord, let us pray to the Lord. You have promised to grant the request of two or three gathered in your name. Help us, Look save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Come, ever most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady of Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. For you are a good and loving God, and you we give glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. In essence, your holy angels may enter with us, and together we may serve and glorify your goodness. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. In the flesh to bring an end to the shadow and to remove the passions that cover us. Glory to your benevolence, O Lord. Glory to your compassion. Glory to your inexpressible, condescensional world. Wisdom arise from the womb before the morning star. I have given birth to you. The Lord has sworn and will not repent. You are a priest forevermore, according to the order of Melchizedek. Save us, O Son of God, who was born of the Virgin. We sing to you, Alleluia. Tophet, Rontis, 
With conviction, the enemies. My mouth shall speak wisdom, and the meditation of my heart shall bring forth understanding. Hear this, all you nations. Wisdom. The reading is from St. Paul's letter to the Colossians. Let us be attentive. Brethren, see to it that no one makes a prey of you by philosophy and empty deceit, according to human tradition, according to the elemental spirits of the universe, and not according to Christ. For in him the whole fullness of deity dwells bodily, and you have come to fullness of life in him who is the head of all rule and authority. In him also you were circumcised with a circumcision made without hands, by putting off the body of flesh in the circumcision of Christ. And you were buried with him in baptism, in which you were also raised with him through faith in the working of God, who raised him from the dead. Peace be with you, the reader. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Shine within our hearts, loving Master, the pure light of your divine knowledge, and open our eyes that we may comprehend the message of your gospel. Instill in us also reverence for your blessed commandment, so that having conquered sinful desires, we may pursue a spiritual life, thinking and doing all those things that are pleasing to you. For you, O Christ, are God, the light of our souls and bodies, and to you give glory, together with your Father, who without beginning, and your all holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Let us be attentive. <coughs> Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. At that time, the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told them. And at the end of eight days, when he was circumcised, he was called Jesus the name given by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. And the child grew and became strong, filled with wisdom, and the favor of God was upon him. Now his parents went to Jerusalem every year at the feast of the Passover. And when he was 12 years old, they went up according to custom, and when the feast was ended, as they were returning, the boy Jesus stayed behind in, his, in Jerusalem. And his parents did not know it. But supposing him to be in the company, they went a day's journey, and they sought him among their king's folk and acquaintances. And when they did not find him, they returned to Jerusalem seeking him. After three days, they found him in the temple, sitting among the teachers, listening to them, and asking them questions. And all who heard him were amazed at his understanding and his answers. And when they saw him, they were astonished. And his mother said to him, Son, why have you treated us so? Behold, your father and I have been looking for you anxiously. And he said to them, How is it that you sought me? Did you not know that I must be in my father's house? And they did not understand the saying which he spoke to them. And he went down with them and came to Nazareth and was obedient to them. And his mother kept all these things in her heart. And Jesus increased in wisdom and in stature and in favor with God and man. 
Peace be with you, proclaims the gospel and all of you. O God, you have visited us in our lowliness and mercy and compassion. You have set us, your lowly, sinful, and worthy servants, to serve at your holy altar before your holy glory. Strengthen us for this service with the power of your Holy Spirit. Grant speech to our lips that we may invoke the grace of your Holy Spirit upon the gifts that are about to be offered. And grant that always guarded by your power, we may give glory to you. You will serve as the high priest and Lord of all entrusted to us the celebration of this liturgical sacrifice. Without the shedding of blood for you alone, Lord God, rule of all heaven and earth. You are seen in the throne of the chairman, Lord, the sheriff, the king of Israel, you alone are here. Therefore, I implore you, look upon me, your sinful and your servant. And cleanse my soul and heart from medieval conscience, and maybe by the power of the Holy Spirit, that that's what the priest and priest should understand.
El Señor Dios te acuerde de nosotros, en su reino eternamente ora y siempre, por los siglos de los siglos. The Lord God remember all of you in his kingdom, both now and forever, and under the ages of ages. Shall be offered upon your altar and mercy of Christ. Now, the most pure and spotless body, anointed it with aromatic spices and wrapped it and clothed it in a new tomb. May <coughs> Lord God remember both of the act of this King of Lords now and forever into the age of ages. Amen. Prioroso mantindei sinimon to kirio. Kirie lai so. I per tu grote sendon ti mi anzoron. Tu kirio dei so me. Kirie lai so. I per tu aiu i kutu tu kitu meta piste o savlavias ke fovati u ision den nafto. Tu kirio dei so me. I per tu rdiste ne i mas apo pas i slipsos, or jis kindinu ki anangis, tu kiriu dhe i thomen. Iri e leison. Ande le buson, sone leison, i ak filak son e maso dhe jos, disi hariti. Iri e leison. For a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us ask the Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask the Lord. For forgiveness and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask the Lord. that is good and beneficial to our souls and for peace in the world, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For a Christian into our lives, peaceful without shame and suffering, and for a good account before the awesome judgment seat of Christ, let us ask the Lord. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and every Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life unto Christ our God. Through the mercy. 
mercies of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Irini Parsi, peace be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us love one another, that with one mind Christ we may us. confess. Christ is among us. In the book of Acts, we read, when they were establishing the early church, we read, and they were brought to the faith on a daily basis, always adding to the multitude. At St. Mark, these past few weeks, we've been blessed with nine chrismations bringing in to adults into the Orthodox Church. And this morning, we continue that trend with two more of our adult chrismations, and we bring before us Phil and Caius, to come forward as they are received into the Holy Orthodox Church with their sponsors, Gerard Mitchell and Stephen Romain. People ask me, how do I become Orthodox? And the first and foremost thing is to come to church. Caius and Phil have been coming to church on a regular basis to Bible study, to scriptures, in learning. And today, they embrace it fully as they enter into the Orthodox Christian faith. O oh, blessed are you, O Christ our God, who by sending down the Holy Spirit upon them made the fishermen wise and through them illumined the world and through you the universe was ever drawn. O oh, glory to you, O God. Please repeat after me. Today I, by the grace of God, in my own free will, having received proper instruction, changed by the seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit, and accept the Orthodox faith, and I confess before God and man, and together begin reading the Creed, and we will all join in. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages. Light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not created, of one essence with the Father, through whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate by the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried. And he rose on the third day according to the scriptures. And he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again with glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom will have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, together with the Father and the Son, is worshiped and glorified, who spoke to the prophets in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I in the life of the age to come, amen. Again, repeat after me. I further confess and accept the traditions of the Orthodox Church. The traditions of the Orthodox Church through which I seek to made worthy of becoming a faithful servant of the Lord, through which I become worthy of becoming a faithful, faithful servant of the Lord by keeping his commandments, by keeping his commandments, and being pleasing to him in all things, by being pleasing to him in all things. This I ask through the grace and love, this I ask through the grace and love of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To whom is due glory and power. Amen. To whom is due glory and power. Amen.
The servant of God, Joseph, is shorn in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The servant of God, Pandalemon, is shorn in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And as we anoint the newly tonsured Joseph, who took his name in Pandalemon, we all respond with Amen after the seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. The seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. O Lord our God, you have made these your servants, Joseph and Pandelemon, worthy to seek spiritual perfection through the Orthodox faith and to receive the seal of Holy Chrism. Lord of all, preserve them in their faith and in you and grant them to grow in righteousness and adorn them fully with every grace. For you bless and sanctify all things in you we glorify, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Whoever wishes to come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. Is that yours? Yes. We'll ask the godparents, the sponsors, to put the place, the cross on them, the symbol, of course, of what it means to be a Christian in the faith. Joseph and Pandalemon, you have chosen two worthy godparents, sponsors, who are here each and every week with you, and that's the blessing. May God bless you, congratulations, and welcome. of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit let us lift up our hearts Let us give thanks to the Lord of Christ's moment, O Kyrio. For you are praised by the angels, archangels, thrones, dominions, principalities, authorities, powers, and the many-eyed cherubim. Round about you stand the seraphim, one with six wings and the other with six wings. With two they cover their faces, with two they cover their feet, with two they fly, crying out to one another with unceasing voices and ever-resounding praises, singing the victory hymn, proclaiming, crying out, and saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord Sabaoth, heaven and earth are filled with your glory. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. of these gifts which he has set forth before you according to his commands. For when he was about to go forth to his voluntary, ever memorable and life-giving death, on the night in which he was delivered up for the life of the world, he took bread in his holy, pure and blameless hands and presenting to you God and Father and offering it. Thanks. He blessed, sanctifying and breaking it. He gave it to his holy disciples and apostles saying, Take eat, this is my body which is broken for you for the forgiveness of sins. Lavete, fayete, tutumu estito soma. 
το υπέρημον κλόμενον εις άφεσιν αμαρτιόν. Likewise, he took the cup of the fruit of the vine, and having mingled it, offering thanks, he blessed and sanctified it. He gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Drink of this, all of you. This is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you and for many, for the remission of sins. Pitex of tu pandas, tu tu esti to emamu, to tis genis diathikis, to hyperimon ke polone hinomenon, is afes in amartion. For as often as you drink this, you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim my death and you confess my resurrection. Therefore, Master, we also remembering his saving cross, his three-day burial and resurrection from the dead, his ascension into heaven, the enthronement at the right hand of the Father, and the second and glorious coming again. We offer to you these gifts from your own gifts in all and for all which you have so richly poured us. We dare to approach your holy altar and bring forth the symbols of the holy body and blood of your Christ. We pray to you and call upon you and your favor of your goodness, O Holy of Holies. We pray your Holy Spirit may come upon us and upon the gifts you have presented Father, to bless, bless sanctify, and make this bread. bread to be the precious body of our Lord, God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Father, bless the Holy and this God. cup to be the precious blood of our Lord, God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Father, Amen. Both holy gifts. Shed for the life and the salvation of the world. Amen. 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 All to one another, who become partakers of the one bread and the cup of your Christ. Grant that none of us may part of the holy body and blood of your Christ to judgment or condemnation, but that we may find mercy and grace all the saints of Egypt throughout the ages. Forefathers, fathers, paid church, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, teachers, and revelation in the earth of age. Especially for our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. George. George and Cynthia. Constantine and Cleopatra. James. Andrew, the newly departed.
Remember, Lord our God, all your people and pour out your rich mercy upon them, granting them their petitions for salvation. Remember, O God, all those whom we have not remembered through ignorance, forgetfulness, or because of the multitude of their names, since you know each from their mother's womb. For you, O Lord, are the helper of the helpless, the hope of the hopeless, the savior of the afflicted, the haven of the voyager, and the physician of the sick. Be all things to all, you who know each person, his requests, his household, and his need. Deliver this church and city, O Lord, and every city and town from famine, plague, earthquake, hurricane, flood, fire, sword, invasion of foreign enemies, and civil war. Above all, remember, Lord Archbishop Alexios, grant that he may serve your holy churches in peace. Keep him safe, honorable, and healthy for many years, rightly teaching the word of your truth. Also remember, Lord, those whom each of us calls to mind, and all your people. And all your people. Declare us to be sons and daughters of the light and of the day. Grant us your peace and love, O Lord. O Lord our God, for you have given all things to us. We pray, O Lord, for those who are suffering throughout the world, who are enduring religious persecution, for peace in the Ukraine, for the softening of the hearts of the aggressors, for those who are still suffering from the effects of Hurricane Ian. We pray, O Lord, for the servants of God, William, Eleni, George, Ron, Mary, Lubav, Kay, Steve, Danis, Margarita, Gus, Sergio, George, Spiridon, Marlene, Dawn, Angela, Elena, Gary, Kim, Eileen, David, Barbara, June, Peter, Ian, Fortini, Zenovia, Betty Ann, Mariana, Evelyn, Michali, Angela, Mary Dax, Mary Jane, and Wendy Allen. And grant that with one voice and with one heart we may glorify and praise your most honored and majestic name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. And may the mercy of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, be with you all. And with your spirit. I greet you with much love and joy in our Lord's name this morning. We welcome all of our visitors who are here visiting us today. We know we have a large group visiting us. These are the staff of Ionian Village this summer, and they're visiting here in Boca Raton, and we're blessed that all of you are in my house. It's such a blessing to have you there. We also welcome all of our faithful who are here. I see many throughout who are college students who are back visiting, while I know many of our faithful are still sleeping this morning, so I thank you for being here. Uh, just a reminder that <clears throat> we have a very busy week, and I want to remind you of a few of the liturgical services, of course. First and foremost, tomorrow we will have a funeral at 10 a.m. for Andrew Stilianos, Dimitri's father, Anna's husband, who is a sweet, kind man, and we will pray and bury him and offer the final prayers of his presence in this life as he now joins the church triumphant. We also have, of course, on Thursday, on January 5th, we will have great vespers and the blessing of the waters in the evening. The next morning on January 6th, we will have here Epiphany, one of the great feasts of our Lord, and the blessing of the waters here. Um, Epiphany on Friday at 9 a.m. On Saturday, we will go up to West Palm Beach where we will gather with all of the faithful from the area, from the district, and we'll have Epiphany Cross Dive in West Palm Beach with Bishop Sebastian who will be there representing Metropolitan Alexios. And then on the next day, <clears throat> a lot of services, we'll have Divine Liturgy here on January 8th, that's Sunday. And Bishop Sebastian will be with us that morning. And I'm also very pleased to say that President George Cantonis, who is the president of Hellenic College Holy Cross, will also be with us here that morning because afterwards we're going to go in the hall and cut the Vasilopita at our Epiphany luncheon for all of our faithful. And this is important because today is the last day that you can purchase your tickets. So if you haven't, we have almost 250 of our people who will be there. We have about 40 more slots available. Come and celebrate. All the proceeds will go to support our seminarians at Hellenic College Holy Cross Greek Orthodox. Orthodox School of Theology, and that is indeed a huge blessing for us. So a reminder, on January 7th, for St. John the Baptist, 
No churches will be having divine liturgy in their respective churches, but rather we're going to go, so if you want to celebrate that feast, we're going to go up to West Palm Beach and celebrate together with all of the clergy. So just a reminder, may God bless us all and a special welcome back, although only a few of them are here, it's a rough Sunday I know, to our winter youth rally and all of our young people. Father Alex, five of our advisors went up to Atlanta and did an amazing job with our youth and it's such a blessing they came back and a few of them are here with us today. May God bless them, may God bless you all as we walk toward the new year. Having commemorated all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the precious gifts here presented and consecrated, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That our God, who loves mankind, having accepted at his holy, celestial, and mystical altar as an offering of spiritual fragrance, May return send down upon us the divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. Having asked for the unity of faith and for the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. To με τα παρησία σα κατακρίτω στο όνομα επικαλείστε σε τον επουράνιο Θεό Πατέρα και λέγει Πάτερη μόν, ο εν τη φουρανή αγιαστείτε το όνομά σου, ελθέτω η βασιλεία σου, γεννηθείτε το θέλημά σου ω εν ουρανό και επί τη γη. Τον άρτων ημών των επιούσιων, δώσε μην σήμερα και άφησε μην τα ωφελήματα ημών ως και εμείς αφήμεν τους φαλέτες ημών και εμείς εν έγιση μας εις φυρασμών αλλά ρίσε ημάς από το πονηρού Our Father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For yours the kingdom and the power and glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with you all. to the Lord. Lord, Master, God of mercies and God of every consolation, bless, sanctify, guard, fortify, and strengthen those who have bowed their heads to you. Distance them from every evil deed, lead them to every good work, and make them worthy to partake without condemnation of these, your most pure and life-giving mysteries for the forgiveness of sins and the communion of the Holy Spirit. By the grace, mercy, and love for us of your only begotten Christ, Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us be attentive, proskume. Yes, the holy gifts for the holy people of God. The Lamb of God is broken and distributed, broken, you're not divided forever, you never consume. Sanctify those who partake in Jesus Christos Nika. The cup is filled with the faith in the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Oh God, forgive me a sinner and have mercy upon me. Oh God, forgive me a sinner and have mercy upon me. Oh God, forgive me a sinner and have mercy upon my brothers and God silver. May Lord Jesus Christ, brothers and sisters, forgive me, Mark, dear brother, priest, for their mission of sins and life eternal. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the precious body of our Lord, God, and Savior, Jesus Christ, be Mark, dear brother, God and Savior Jesus Christ, given him our community priest for the mission of saints in the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. This is just my mission. My sins are forgiven and my guilt is taken away. Amen.
In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Christ is born. Glorify him. It's still Christmas time. We still celebrate to the Feast of Epiphany, such a blessing. I want to welcome you all this morning and say with big smile on my face, it is great to see you all here. As we begin the new year on January 1st, I can think of no better way than to start by giving thanks to God. The divine liturgy, in Greek the word, Eucharist means thanksgiving. So thus we come and we give thanks on this day. It's interesting. The fathers of the church, when they teach us how to pray, they teach us in a certain way. And they first and foremost say that when you pray, the first thing you do, even in your private prayers, so heed this advice, you offer thanksgiving to God. You give thanks to Him for all your blessings. So the first thing we pray for is not to do better on a test. The first thing is not to help us get this job, but rather it's to say thank you, Lord, to be thankful for His blessings that He bestows upon us. Thank you. Thankful for family, for friends, for church. Thankful for all creation. The next thing we're called to do is to pray for others. And you notice, we take that off of ourselves and we're putting it on someone else. So it's not about us. It's about putting it on someone else. So therefore, we give thanks to God and then we pray for others. Then we're called to pray for our own personal sins for forgiveness and say, Lord, forgive me for these things. And finally, finally, the fourth thing that we do, the fathers teach us, is to pray for specific needs. So you see, the praying for needs is not the first thing we do, but the last. We give thanks to God. We pray for our sins, for forgiveness. We pray for other people. And then we pray for specific needs. This is a great guideline as we begin this new year in the faith. It's a great way to help us set forward so that we can be thankful for all things. On January 1st, the church celebrates various things. The church celebrates the circumcision of our Lord God and Savior eight days after Christmas. So this would be the eighth day. On the eighth day of Christmas. Today's the eighth day, right? And on this eighth day, we celebrate that. God becoming man on December 25th and thus then doing what all of the people did at that time because he was fully God and fully man. So thus, he became circumcised. And then a prayer on the eighth day, by the way, there's a prayer of the church that we read the naming of the child on the eighth day. And that's actually what takes place. Then we also celebrate St. Basil. St. Basil is a great saint of the church. St. Basil is known for many things. Many people think the Vasilopita, which of course St. Basil's bread is an important thing when he was always looking for ways to help those who are in need. There was a horrible event that took place and he wanted to find a way to bring part of his, part of the wealth to the people who were in need. So the way he did it was he baked bread. And in that bread, he would take little gold coins or large gold coins, we really don't know, and he would distribute. So therefore, when the poor and the faithful were receiving bread and nourishment, they were also receiving something substantial in regard to material gains. And that was his way of doing it. You see, St. Basil was one of the three great hierarchs of the church. St. Basil was a huge saintly man. He did so, and I say this because if you think about it, his whole family, ten children, out of that, his mother, various sisters and brothers are also saints. So if you really think about living a godly life with your family, that's what we're called to do. His whole family was on that walk towards salvation. So St. Basil also did something awesome. It was during the time he started a monastic, cenobitic monasticism, we call it, or he started a uh, um, monasticism that was off in the caves or off in the mountains, but it was rather amongst the people. So if you think about it, St. Basil did something great. He not only helped people in feeding them, he not only helped them with their prayers as he was a bishop, but he also had orphanages, hospitals, that he had right in the midst of towns and cities, and he would help the faithful. So he really is a tremendous, tremendous saint. And when you think about it, especially, of course, we walk from St. Nicholas, Christmas time, to Christ, Christmas itself, and then walking to St. Basil, we have great examples of people who gave of themselves. They didn't put themselves first, they put others first, always giving thanks to God. 
It's interesting. We're so quick on New Year's to begin each New Year, and I do it too, with what are my New Year's resolutions, things I'm going to put a pass from the old, things I'm going to start new. I'm hoping that, of course, starting new for you all is coming to church more, although I'm preaching to the choir because you're all here, and I give thanks to God for that. But I want to read with you a beautiful note that our Archbishop sent and just read to you one paragraph from it. And he writes, Imagine the new year of 2023 as a series of opportunities for theosis in your life, becoming like God, theosis. You do not have to be a monastic or even an ascetic to embrace this aspiration. Each moment, every encounter, all the people that you meet, they are all opportunities for you to act as God acts, to speak as God speaks, and to love as God loves. We'll often hear our friends talk about their New Year's resolutions, their intentions to either spend more time with family, to lose weight, or the thousands of other commitments we try to make at the turn of the New Year. This year, let us follow the example of Great Basil of Caesarea. Let us take our lives, humble and even faulted, and let us make them a chance to become godlike in our ways. This is the realization of our human nature. May 2023 be filled with these moments. My brothers and sisters in Christ, for your New Year's resolutions, live godly lives. Speak God out of your mouths. Love God. Everyone you meet, everyone you come into contact with, everyone, everyone, let them see Christ in you. There's no greater gift that we can give the world because our world needs that right now. There's no greater gift that we can give our church at St. Mark, and there's no greater gift that we can give ourselves. Give of yourselves godly. Live godly lives. I say this to the young people, to the Goyans, to the Sunday school all the time, and you've heard me say it. If you wrestle with pigs, you get dirty. Don't surround yourselves with the muck of the world. Surround yourselves with godly people. Let these people in the church let, and I use as an example, Gerard and Steve who are here standing in front being witnesses today to Phil and to Caius. Let these kind of people be inspiration. Let these kind of people surround you so that when ultimately we are walking toward our Lord at the second coming of Christ, we can experience his love fully. Today, I also want to read with you as I conclude, there's a beautiful saint of our church, Saint Ambrose, the Bishop of Milan. He was in the fourth century, and he wrote a beautiful prayer that I want to read to you on this New Year's. And listen to the words, because they're so meaningful as we set our rights our entire life. We praise, O God, and accept you as our Lord. All the earth worships you, the Eternal Father. To you all the angels cry aloud, the heavens and all the powers of heaven. To you the cherubim and the seraphim continually sing, holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, heaven and earth are filled with your glory. The glorious company of the apostles praises you. The righteous fellowships of the prophets praises you. The noble army of martyrs praises you. The holy church throughout the world acknowledges you. You. O Christ, are the King of glory. You are the eternal Son of the Father. You humbled yourself when you came to save man and be born of a virgin. You opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers when you overcame the sting of death. You sat at the right hand of the Father. We believe that you shall come to be our judge. We therefore pray, help your servants whom you have redeemed with your precious blood and have departed from this life during this past year. Number them among your saints in eternal glory. Lord, save us, your people, and bless your inheritance. Guide and direct us according to your will during the coming year. Day by day, moment by moment, we magnify you and we worship your name, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us walk in 2023 as godly people. Amen. Please wise as we recite the, cre the prayers before receiving Holy Communion. I believe and confess, Lord, that you are truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. In word and deed, known and unknown, and make me worthy without condemnation 
to partake of your pure mysteries for the forgiveness of sins and for life eternal. Amen. How shall I, who am unworthy, enter into the splendor of your saints? If I dare to enter into the bridal chamber, my clothing will accuse me, since it's not a wedding garment, and being bound up, I shall be cast out by the angels. In your love, Lord, cleanse my soul and save me. Loving Master, Lord Jesus Christ, my God, let not these holy gifts be to my condemnation because of my unworthiness, but for the cleansing and sanctifications of soul and body and the pledge of the future life and kingdom. It is good for me to cling to God and to place him in the hope of my salvation. Receive me today, O Son of God, as a partaker of your mystical supper. I will not betray your mysteries to your enemies, nor give you a kiss as did Judas, but as the thief I confess you. Remember me, Lord, in your kingdom. Metaphorvu Theou Pisteos, que agapis proselfete. With the fear of God, with faith, love, draw near. Anita, ton kirion, ek ton Oh. 
Save, O God, your people and bless your inheritance. Innocence being God, most compassionate Master, you assume human nature without transmutation, fulfilling the law of your own will. You accepted circumcision in the flesh to bring an end to the shadow and to remove the passions that cover us. Glory to your benevolence, O Lord. Glory to your compassion. Glory to your inexpressible condescension, O world. Blesses of God, always, now, and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Arise, having partaken in the divine, holy, pure, immortal, heavenly life, and awesome mysteries of Christ. Let us worthily give thanks to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Having prayed for a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. For you are our sanctification, and to you we offer glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us depart in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord, bless those who praise you and sanctify those who trust in you. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Protect the entire body of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. Glorify them in return by your divine power. And do not abandon us who hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the clergy, to those in public service, to the armed forces stationed throughout the world, and to all your people. For every good and perfect gift comes from above, from you, the Father of lights, whom we glorify, thank, and worship, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Amen. Blessed is the name of the Lord, both now and to the ages. To honor my Kiriui, a blogging man on a portuni, Eos to Eonos. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. May the blessing of the Lord and his mercy come upon you through his divine grace and love for us always, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to your God, our hope, glory to you. May Christ our true God, who was circumcised for in the flesh for our salvation on the eighth day, and who rose from the dead is a good, loving, and merciful God of mercy upon us and save us through the intercessions of his most pure and holy mother, the power of the precious and life-giving cross, the supplications of the honorable, glorious prophet and forerunner John the Baptist, the holy, glorious, and praiser of the apostles, the holy, glorious, and triumphant martyrs of St. Mark the Evangelist, the patron of our church, of the holy and righteous answers of God, Joy Kimenana, of St. Basil the Great, Archbishop of Caesarea, whose memory we commemorate today and of all the saints. Have mercy in us and save us, for you are a good God who loves mankind. Through the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy in us and save us. Amen. May the Holy Trinity protect and keep all of you. Amen. This is a day that the Lord has made. Let us all rejoice and be glad in it. 
Amen. A reminder, there is no Coffee Fellowship Hour today. We're giving our beautiful ladies of Philopticos who take care of us each and every week a break for the last two weeks. But go purchase your Epiphany Luncheon tickets. It's going to be a special day in honor of Holy Cross with our beloved president and with all of our faithful. God bless you all. Have a beautiful day and a blessed new year. Amen.